Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to another episode of Scrap Mechanic. And I'm surrounded by bots here because honestly, who would we be without bots surrounding us in our day-to-day -day lives? Oh, they got really, really interested in me very quickly there when I said that. I hope they appreciate what I've said and they're not angered by it. But that's okay, because if they get angered by it, hopefully by the end of this episode, we're going to have a very impractical weapon to defend ourselves with. So if you couldn't figure it out by the title and thumbnail already, uh, we are going to be making a wrecking ball, but not just any normal wrecking ball, a wrecking ball that is made of saw blades. Because when I imagined a wrecking ball hitting these bots, I didn't think it was really going to be that effective. So putting a bunch of spinning sharp pointy objects on that wrecking ball is probably going to be more effective, though I'm still not quite sure how effective yet. All right, bots, sorry, I can't have any distractions right now. I'll uh, see you guys later, but for now, kill them all. All right, so I'm gonna start building this thing. I hope it looks as cool as I'm imagining it's going to look. I'm also thinking it's probably going to be a lot harder to make it look as cool as I'm imagining it's going to look, but I gotta start somewhere and that's what I'm doing right now. <sighs> yeah, I knew this is where I was gonna run into the issues. Trying to make this thing look like a ball is not gonna be easy, especially when it comes to collisions. I feel like this is a good start, but I don't like how much it sticks out from the other blades. I want it to look nice. I might have to just roll with that if I can't come up with a better solution, but I'm gonna try some other experiments for now. All right, I think this is just a little bit better. So um, now let's make it all the way around and hope it stays better. I feel like at this point, I'm just over engineering a wrecking ball. I could have just made this so simple by making it just square, but nope. Had to go with the round version of a ball. All right, I hope this idea worked. I just took that one section like this and copy and pasted it. So now I think, I think I should be able to just weld one like that. Oh, it's not gonna work. It's gonna collide and unless, no, no, this could still work. This could still work. I just gotta delete that. And then I can weld another one back over, oh. Is it, that's because it's colliding with the lift, I think. Here, we'll put that up on a pedestal to weld to. Okay, yeah, I gotta remove the saw blades from the angled portion because it collides when it's on the lift. So I have to put those on after it's already in its angled uh, programmed position, I think. Please let this work. I don't want to have to rebuild that arm every single time. All right, and there's that. Okay, this is looking good so far. And then I gotta do it on this side. Okay, so now I should be able to slap a saw blade on these corners, but I'm missing some corners. I actually have, some of these have to have two different saw blades on them to work. Oh, this is really interesting already. I'm liking this though. I think this is gonna turn out looking really, really cool. All right, so now I've had to reduce it to just this controller part. So I take it, weld it from there, and you can see we don't have a saw blade right here. So all I gotta do is that, and then now, I can put a saw blade right there. So now I just gotta fill in all of those gaps and we're gonna have a saw blade ball. A saw ball. Saw ball, that works. It works. Guys, this is looking so cool. I think I've done it. And I like how it kind of automatically spins in some cases because of the collisions. Look how it looks on a lift though. It is not, I did not put this symmetrically at all. This has no rhyme or reason to where the saw blades are grouped up really. But uh, when you take it off the lift, when you, uh, when you take it off the... Why... Why is this one not working? This, this particular one seems to not want to get in its position. Know your place! Know your place, Sawblade! Everything else is in position! Okay, 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 I think we got it! Let's do another test. Everything going into place? I think everything is going into place. This is good. Okay, now how do we power it? We need to fit an engine in here somewhere. There's no way I'm gonna be able to fit an engine in here without it just literally ruining everything. I might need more than one engine in here. How many saw blades does this have? 18 saw blades. That means we need two engines in here. All right, I'm gonna put these engines on like mid power and they're just gonna default on. All right, that does not solve the issue of them being stuck. Oh, hey, that one actually resolved itself. Look at this. Look at this. This is amazing. How destructive do you think it's gonna be? I gotta still figure out how to swing this thing around. I wonder if I can hit it with a hammer. Oh, actually it slides. It slides across the ground. I can actually hit it in a direction and just have it slide. I wanted it to roll, but you know, whatever. 
This is fine, I suppose. So I built this thing for a multiplayer. Oh, I should probably save this before anything bad happens and it blows up. Saw ball. All right, there we go. But I built this for multiplayer Monday. This is actually a really popular multiplayer Monday where we built a wrecking ball. This time we're gonna swap that wrecking ball out for this wrecking ball. How big, this thing seems a little bit big. Yeah, that's pretty big compared to that. I might have to, oh, I can raise it up. I forgot, how does this thing work again? All right, we got tank steering and we can go up. Oh, excellent. All right, so as long as I put a bearing right here, I should be able to just attach this at the center. <laughs> Look at that. I should just be able to attach this at the center of any of those. And oh no, did that not, did that, did, what happened? What happened here? Hold on, I got, I need to figure out what we just did. Why is it going around like that? T attach it at the right point or something? Oh boy, this thing is dangerous. Why is it going around? It's attached at the center. That my, look at it, it's attached at the center of the blade. It shouldn't be spinning like that. All right, I'm gonna try this again. This time we're going from that bearing, right? there and please okay oh that seems to be working normally all right now we go up why is it folded why did it fold like that don't fold unfold please these are free bearings you should just unfold why are you resting in an upward position like that just unfold why isn't gravity physics come back all right you know what i think i'm just gonna build a brand new vehicle to do this because this is just not working out all right, guys, I think I finally got it hooked up to a point where it's functional. So I can drive this vehicle around. I can also uh, move this back and forth if I want to. It's really, really difficult. It's really, really tough on the engines, though, because it's just so much mass that it takes a lot to move this thing. And I can also, if I wanted to, I could raise it up pretty high and uh, I can lower it as well, of course. I'm actually gonna speed these up when it comes to the raising and lowering a little bit. There we go, oh yeah, look at that. That's super fast now. Oh, I can crush them with it just by dropping it pretty much. All right, but I know it looks a little bit weird right now, but don't worry, I got a solution for that. Ready, watch this. Boom, look at that, look at that. And then boom, just like that. Wow, wow, so much more professional. And you know what, right, it, it, I don't, it's gonna, it's gonna break things. I hope this isn't gonna break things. I'm gonna add a little bit more on the front here. And then boom, just like that. Look at that professional, look at that professional design right there. All right, let me make sure I could just still turn all the way around without collisions. Oh yeah, look at that. It's the angle blocks that make it work, really. But I know what you're thinking. How can you make this thing look even better? Well, I bet you didn't see this coming. Boom, boom, look at that, look at that, look at that. Just like that, just like that. Um, yep, just like that. This is gonna blow your mind right here. Ready, look at this, look at this. Look at that, look at that design. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and paint this thing up now, and then we're gonna battle some boss with a wrecking saw ball. Saw blade wrecking ball. All right, here it goes. <laughs> He's so scared of it. That's awesome. I've never seen them do this with aggro off before. I love that. All right, let's uh, let's do some of this. <laughs> no, he's just gonna run away from it the whole time. <laughs> I do not know why, I just find that hilarious. All right, come on. There we go, it did some damage. We gotta get the jump on him for this to work because he's just gonna avoid it the whole time. All right, I'm kind of regretting a little bit having my turret rotate because then when I just go about my normal driving, it automatically rotates my turret because it's so much mass to move. All right, come on, come on. Hit, hit the thing. Hit it, hit it. Hit it, yes, yes. Oh my God, he's so good at avoiding it. All right, little guy, you may remember the hammer from the last episode, but you haven't seen nothing yet. Or should I say, you haven't saw nothing yet because because we're using saw blades. All right, here we go. <laughs> I think I just ran him over. It'll be much easier to see what's happening if we have an assortment of these guys to work with. All right. <laughs> That's like I'm parting the sea. All right, come on. Yes! Yes, it actually was sawing against him. Oh, I could, it's so annoying that they back away. I wish you could like turn fear off in the bots, if you could even call this fear. I don't know what you call this, but this is so frustrating that they just keep avoiding it so easily. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, coming through, coming through, excuse me. Yep, pardon me, excuse me, excuse me, thank you, thank you. Look at that. <laughs> 
<laughs> that worked exactly like I was hoping. That was actually pretty satisfying. All right, we need to spawn something in that's not gonna run away now. Let's go ahead and uh, kill all. There we go. And I think tape bots aren't gonna run away. The hay bots are gonna run away. They're definitely gonna run away faster even than the, uh, the tote bot. So that's gonna be more difficult. But here, let's do these guys. Let's see how this works. I don't think these guys run away from saw blades. This isn't something I'm- nope, they don't. Alright, this is gonna be better. This is gonna be a better example. Alright, here we go. It's alright. It's definitely not a practical weapon at all. It might be better if I was actually swinging it more. There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. And I could go up and then down on top of them. Okay, that also didn't really work that well either. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. Uh, die, everybody! <laughs> it works. It actually does work. It just takes some time. But I'm really, my, I'm most curious about how it's gonna work against the farm bots, to be honest. All right, so we're gonna do it with a non-aggroed one first. We're gonna see how this feels. Come on, there we go. Come on. I don't know how long this is. This is probably gonna take a really long time, guys. I don't think we're gonna be able to beat this thing when it has aggro on, to be honest. I think it might actually destroy the saw blades. All right, you know what? Let's run into them. We're gonna do some damage this time. Hey! Yeah. Whoa! I don't know if I just lucked out and that happened to be the last bit of damage he needed or if that actually did a lot more damage. We have to, we have to try that again with just that strategy. Hey! Yeah. It feels better, but uh-oh. Uh, that's not how that's, but how did that get through there? That doesn't make any sense. And he's like ducking. <laughs> All right, I do feel like it definitely has more solid contact when you ram it into him, which makes sense. There's another hit. And on the way back. Oh boy, oh boy, okay. Yeah, it, I think I just lucked out on that one. It was just his last little sliver of health when I chose to ram him. This is still taking a lot of hits, but I do look forward to doing this with an actual aggroed one. As soon as this guy die, any moment now, you can go ahead and die, sir. <laughs> Why is this taking so many hits? There we go. Just had to massage his face with the ball of saw blades for it to finally kill him. Okay, now it's time to actually turn some aggro on with this guy. Place your bets now. Do you think the saw blade will survive an attack from a farm bot? Or do you think we're gonna kill him first? I honestly, I don't know the answer. What's the durability on a saw blade? Saw blades have seven durability. That's pretty good. How much is tier three metal? Tier three metal is eight. So it's not, uh, they can still destroy tier three metal. So this is, they might destroy saw blades before I can kill them with them. We're gonna find out if we can actually kill a bot with this impractical, weird weapon. I like it. I like it that he actually goes into it. This is good. I just gotta keep backing up it. <laughs> what? It's so much easier when he's attacking me. I was totally not expecting that. All right, I gotta try this again with like three of them now. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna get the first shot on this guy and it's probably gonna, oh boy, I'm scared. Boink. <laughs> oh, why do they, they spread out sometimes. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> This is so much more difficult this time. I'm totally gonna tip over. I am totally, he's gonna get my wheel. I'm trying to go as fast as I can, I promise. Ah! All right, here we go. All right, we got my defense back. I got my defense back. Uh. Okay, come on. Come on, guys. Into the saw blade. There we go, there we go. That's doing some damage now. Now it's not doing as much damage anymore and I'm stuck. I am totally stuck. This is bad. Oh! Oh no, I'm gonna blow up! Oh, I'm gonna blow up again! <laughs> oh no, he's still alive back there. This is bad. Oh, he's gonna dismantle my my uh, crane. Um. Oh, 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 how about this? How about this? Did I didn't see this guy? Okay, not really much is happening anymore. What? He's doing a ballerina dance on my head. Is this like your victory dance? 
you know, I'm not dead yet. I don't, I can't go anywhere, but I'm definitely not dead yet. Hello, hello. All right, you know what? Here, I'm just gonna, uh, you stay right there, all right? Don't move. I'm gonna go ahead and release these, and I'm gonna put this back like this. And now I should be able to turn this whole thing around. Come on. Oh, it's so heavy. It is so heavy. Yeah, this isn't working. I think we've reached an actual stalemate. A really, really strange and awkward stalemate. This, this doesn't feel right. All right, Mr. Farmbot, truce. We're gonna call it a truce. Oh, oh. All right, that's it. Those are fighting words right there. Those are fighting words. We're gonna, I, I don't even care. This is, uh, I'll take myself out with you. There, oh, you did that, you did that. Oh no. Wow, the uh, tier three concrete's actually pretty durable. All right, how's this thing doing? We lost a couple of saw blades, but that's pretty much it. All right, so I wanna do one final test here. I actually wanna fight a whole bunch of tape bots and actually have them have aggro on. We're gonna see how easily they damage us. They're probably gonna dis- I'm, I'm betting that they're gonna actually end up dismantling the crane if they just hit a couple of those points at the right spot. They might just detach it from my vehicle entirely, and I think that'll be kind of entertaining to see. No. No. Oh, no. What is wrong? Joint connection error? You know what this means? I can't, I can't spawn my, what happened? Look, there's a bearing right there. I can't actually spawn this vehicle back in. It's broken. I am very unhappy with that. That means I have to rebuild this all over again if I want to do it. I mean, the saw, the saw ball isn't the problem. The saw ball still spawns in. At least I don't have to rebuild that. But man, how does that happen? Why did it let me save it in the first place? Oh man, that is really, really disappointing. All right, I'm just gonna build a simplified version of it then. All right, I've made a new version and I've saved it and I can spawn it back in. So we shouldn't have any issues if this thing gets destroyed now. So I still got a whole army of tape bots sitting over there waiting to be challenged with a saw blade wrecking ball and uh, let's do it. Pop capsules, I think aggro's still on. So this thing, you can see I put a, a little bit more of a, uh, a protection cage to prevent the, the wrecking ball from getting up onto me. All right, here we go. Oh boy, they're just gonna get my seat, aren't they? Oh, they're so fast. Why are they running after me? You guys are ranged. You have a ranged attack. Oh my goodness, they're just surrounding me. They're totally surrounding me. My vehicle itself is, is way more useful than the actual wrecking ball. I cannot believe this though. I honestly, I cannot believe that how aggressive they are. All right, here we go. My saw blade should protect they actually avoid it. I didn't know that. I didn't know that they have any type. Oh, that, that guy didn't avoid it. I didn't know that they had any type of avoidance um, AI when it comes to saw blades, but they literally went around or maybe they're not avoiding it. Maybe they're just trying to get a line of sight directly to me. That could be it. Yeah, they seem to be only attacking me and they're not trying to attack my creation. Hold on. Um, No aggro creations. Aggro creations on. There we go. Now they might actually go for the saw blade. Oh, look at all the tape going everywhere. They're shooting at everything now with the aggro creations on. Oh man, that's great. Oh, what did he just do? He just flew at me. He must have walked on top of them. This is crazy. All right. Oh, I have plenty of room behind me. This is gonna work. Come on, kill them. Come on. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, I have to. I have to go. I gotta go forward into him. Eh. Eh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. My my cage is working against me now. This is the opposite of what it's supposed to do. It's holding it behind. I'm useless now. And ah. Hey, that actually. He didn't take as much damage as I thought he was going to. All right. Come on. Come on. Get a nice swing into him. 
Nice swing into- Oh, he avoided it the whole time, that sneaky tape bot. All right, I, I'm gonna say with, uh, I, can, I think I can say pretty definitively now that, um, the Sawblade Wrecking Ball is most effective against the farm bots and everything else, it is extremely impractical and I would not recommend this weapon to anybody, really. Just hit so there we go. That was a good swing. That looks like an actual what a wrecking ball would look like. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this concept. I had a lot of fun making it up until the point where it made me make it all over again. Making it the first time was fun. Making it the second time was less fun. But I think it looks amazing. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And if you have any other ideas that you'd like to see me try, any impractical weapons, I feel like impractical weapons could be a series. Over engineering and practical weapons. That might be what this is right here. If you guys enjoyed this video, you might enjoy some other content on the end screen right here. If you want to help support the channel, go ahead and check out the merch store with the link down in the description below. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.